All right, let's go, Phoenix. Welcome back to New Jack Thriller City, man. I got my homeboy, my player partner. Man, he hails all the way from Atlanta, Georgia, man. You know, took over the uh, YouTube situation before YouTube was YouTube, before niggas was going viral. It was him and his brother setting it off in this motherfucker on some boozy type shit. Y'all give it up for Philip Hudson. Hey, going on? Hey, going on? Yeah, what's going on, Jack? Man, dog, I'm so happy to have you here, man. And I'm, I, I can't even explain how uh, proud of you I am, man. Yeah, you, man, you, you've been that. putting it down for a long ass time, bro. Hey, man, Paul, appreciate that, dog, man. And um, it's it, it been a long journey. And the thing about the journey, it don't never stop, man. We still here. We never left. You know, on and on and on. <laughs> Mm-hmm. That nigga ad lived his ass off right now. <laughs> <laughs> All captions. I like to talk uh, yeah, captions. Yeah, right, right. 100%. <laughs> hey, um, so I want to come out. Let, let, let's let's start from, let, let, let's come out swinging, man, on this something that I always was confused about when it came to you. Oh, oh, uh, I had, the last time I was on Wild and Out, I had, I just, saw, I just uh, saw you come on the team. And it threw me all the way off because I always wondered why you weren't there from the start. Well, uh, to be honest with you, the day I auditioned with my brother, I had smoked before I had did it. And this is when I was first started smoking. You know what I'm saying? When I first started smoking and um and I was high, you know what I mean? And then when I did the audition, um, I wasn't myself. You feel what I'm saying? And that's a, and that's a, like when I can think back, you know, everything happened for a reason. But I feel like if I had any anything that I could recollect, I just knew that I wasn't, you know, what I'm saying really just present all the way. I wasn't my natural self. I was trying to be funny. You feel what I'm saying? And 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 if you know, I, I can't control none. But if I if I had to say, well, maybe that's what the reason is because I didn't get picked. You feel me? My brother did. You feel what I'm saying? And then I tried to. Um, well, that that's what happened that day. You know what I mean? I, don't, I really don't know at the end of the day why they ain't pick me, but that's what I remember. You feel what I'm saying? And then, but um, and then I tried to audition again, and then, but I had got there late because you feel me? I had got there. I wasn't really late. I wasn't. No, no, no. Real talk. I wasn't late. I wasn't late. But when I got there, I wasn't even on the list to audition. You feel what I'm saying? I wasn't on the list to audition, but but I went back there anyway. But this is when they was wrapping up. You feel what I'm saying? This was wrapping up. No, this is what happened. Back, I was with my, uh, I was with my management, right? And they said, Phil, you have an audition for Wild, Wild and Out. This is when Nav, uh, this is when Nav auditioned. Nav auditioned. Um, he was there. He auditioned. And so when I went up there, I Hold said, on, "Time out." Nav auditioned for Wild. And yeah, this was the time I went up there. I went up there. Yeah. When was this? You said where? When? When was? This, this was uh, I forget what year it was. I forget what year it was, but um This wasn't no this was a long, long time ago. It was probably about probably about eight years ago. Eight it's years 16. ago. Got it. Something like that. I can't don't quote me on it. It's around that time. About Got eight, you. But the, around that era, that around that time. This is when my brother had my brother had been on there for a season yeah. or two. Yeah, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Something like that. And then um, so and then my management at the time, uh he had they was like, shoot, hey. You got an audition. Well, come out, come out here and audition. But when I got there, there's like my name wasn't on the list. Mm. My, I was like, okay, well, my name not on the list. I thought I had the audition. So I was like, man, whatever. So I left because I said, you folk, you folk playing with me. You know what I'm saying? I, I thought my management was playing. I said, man, whatever, man. He got folk got me driving all the way out here, man. I ain't even on the list. What was all the way out here? Like, this was in Jimmy uh, Jimmy Carter, uh, uh, Atlanta oh, Comedy Theater. Right. Okay, cool. Because so then I was staying on the south side. Got you it. feel what I'm saying? So I had to draw, drive. I was like, why? Why they got me out here looking crazy? So I left. You feel me? Then I turned around. I said, was, was that was that ego? Not, no, it wasn't. No, it was one of those things where I already had some 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 feelings about my management at the time. I had already, and I was like, man, these folks playing like. And then at the same time, and then so, I, but I I turned around. I said, you know what? Shoot, I'm finna go back. And when I went back, everybody was gone. The only person that was there was uh, uh, Nick Cannon and the person behind the uh, the uh, camera. That was the only people. That's the only people. But he ain't let me audition. You feel what I'm saying? Nick he was didn't like, let you audition. Nah, he was like, man, uh, I seen what he, like he said, I've seen him before. You feel what I'm saying? He has said that I've seen him before. Like I auditioned already. He was like, I seen him before. And then and Why then you say, that was nigga. I'm a manual brother. No, that's what I'm saying. I did. I don't know. I don't know. He said that, and I was like, all right, cool. And I left. And I had left. That was the first time. And then shoot. Long story short, I ended up getting on it. I ended up getting on it. 
being on Wild Out. You know what? You know what? Uh, the whole time I was thinking to myself, maybe he didn't want to be on it. It only because it, it didn't never made sense to me. I was confused. I mean, it's not even. It wasn't even like a big want. It was like shoot, I auditioned and then I ain't get it the first time. Mm. Yeah, I had a because when I seen the, the last time I seen you at a. Um, uh, uh, ATL Comedy Theater, and I walk in. I, every time I see you, I always was say, I was like, why the fuck he ain't on Wild and I don't get it. And when and I was like, maybe he just have, have a different path and some different thing than he wanted to do, or maybe he just he he's like just overbooked or something like that. I I I just took it as you just didn't want to do it. And when I seen you like walk on that stage, I was like, holy shit. It's about goddamn time. Mm -hmm. You you uber funny, man. And you hilarious than a motherfucker, man. Mm -hmm. And then you're really just a really great guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm all right. <laughs> you it's just, it's just, it can't, it got to the point where, why you ain't on Wild Out? Why you ain't on that's, I, I start hitting it everywhere oh, you I was, go. Oh, got you, man. I start hitting it everywhere I, I, I go. bro. And that's all good. You already yeah. said it. And I start hitting it everywhere I go. You know what I'm saying? And I used to work at Massage Envy. You feel me? Trying to you scrape up some chain. You feel Massage me? Envy. Yeah. You was a masseuse? Nah. I was in the front. I was in the front checking the mas masseuses in and the, the clients in and whatever. But anyway, people come in there and they were like, why you in on Wild and Out? So it's almost like Wild and Out was this thing like you have to be on there. I was like, oh, I guess I got to be on Wild and Out. You feel me? Because people keep asking me that. I wasn't tripping. I'm like, I was chilling. You feel me? I, I ain't get, like I said, I already, when I ain't get picked, I already kind of took accountability. For it. You mm. feel what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. this may not, I don't know why things happen, but I'ma just say what what I what I did that day. What happened that day? You feel what I'm saying? I just like, cool, maybe it's something I did that day. Maybe I, I it's like it's like so many decisions that you can make and say, I I made this decision instead of this one. And then it took my life in this trajectory. You feel what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I just like hold myself accountable for what I did that day. You Yo, feel me? Feel, the, the 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 grown man shit you saying right now. Unprecedented. You did like I already knew you was an authentic person, but for you, the the, the reasoning that you just gave, I was like, holy shit! Yeah, this, this shit just got super real. Yeah, to the point where like now I, I know the comedy these days is off the fucking chain. Mm -hmm. You keeping it that one hundred? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because no, life and being a, being a real man. Period is all about ac uh, accountability. Yeah. And when did you get to that space, dog? The way you just like, hey, this it. You know, this is what it is. You know, uh, you, you, it's choices and decisions, and, you know, it is what it is. Well, I look around, and it's like, I know that's how people don't make, they, they don't keep it real. So it's like, that's right. and it's like, and I'm noticing it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I try to be a real person so I can know that it really exists. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's one of those things that, you know what I'm saying? Because it, like, it's been like this for a long time, because I don't never, I don't, when, I don't never trust anyone. I don't trust anyone. And it's like, it's not one of those things like it's in a negative thing because I'm not supposed to trust them. Mm. I'm only supposed to trust God. I'm only mm -hmm. supposed to trust the creator and, 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 and Jesus Christ. It's the only person that I'm supposed, these people are on pizza I'm supposed to trust. It's already been said. So it's like, but I'm supposed to just understand what the truth is. You feel what I'm saying? It's all about the truth. So you can't handle all the things you can't control, but what happened? Mm. That's the, and then that's how the Bible is to tell you about the things that, that happened. And you ain't got to worry about uh, do you believe or whatever. It's just these are track workers of what happened. That's right. And we ain't, and it's not trying to just trying to understand the things you can't see. It's like, well, I know what I did that day. You feel me? So at the end of the day, it's like, I mean, you know, I've always been raised. My my family always been raised in the Word of God and uh, and believing in things that you feel me that you just don't see every day. One hundred percent. You yeah. feel me? So. That's just where that come from. So I always, I always had like a conscience. You feel me? One hundred percent. The things to think about other than what I see. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so it's easy to take accountability because I know that I'm probably the only one thinking like this in this room. That's right. You feel right. what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I'm probably the only one that consider certain type of stuff. I'm not saying I'm, I may be the only one, but I know that I'm few, one of few that's probably thinking like this. Mm. You feel me? So I have to be accountable how I approach things. Cause I know somebody not, may not think about it the same way I think about mm. it. Mm. You feel me? So I can't do nothing. I can't blame nobody else but me. Mm. You feel me? And I can see what somebody do. I'm like, yeah, I see what you did. I see that you did it, mm. but it ain't, like I, I don't have to hold you accountable for that. Mm. I just, I, I hold myself accountable for how I got in front of you. Mm. You feel me? What, how I got to you? Yeah, you feel me? Exactly, exactly. Yo, so man, let's talk about your faith in God, man. Um, you, did, did your family, you got ministers in your family or something? 
Uh, we all take our part, uh, try to minister through comedy and things like that. I got Matthew, uh, my brother Matthew Hudson, he does uh, gospel comedy. Really? Gospel shows, yeah. And then I have uh, my older brother, uh, O'Keefe. That's what he do. He's a minister. My dad, you know, he studied, uh, he went to Bible school and things like that. My mom, she used to, uh, my mom, she, she used to do gospel music. And she studied, she, my mom, she gets on the internet every day and drop a scripture every day trying to lead people to Christ and things like that. My brother. All of us, you know what I'm saying, really do that and um in our own way. I'm me personally, I'm I'm wanna get closer. You know what I'm saying? Because it's kinda it's kinda difficult when you get in the limelight and yeah. things like that. Yeah. It's kinda difficult. I'm keeping it one hundred, it just be kinda difficult because yeah. you can see where the mass is going mm -hmm. and you know where the money and stuff is going, mm -hmm. but you know where it you know it you but you see where it's going. That's right. You feel what I'm saying? You see the dead, you see the cap. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. you see the cap on it. And then it's like so I have to be mindful of what I say when I come on um when I come on Interviews and things like this. I be mindful of what I say because I know it's a lot of people watching me. That's right. And I don't want to lead nobody astray. Wow. I only want to tell you what I what I did. Mm. And, you know what I'm saying? How I got here. I don't want to tell you what to believe in or anything like that. But if you admire me, then you're this is a part of me. Yeah, you know you're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, so it'll be like, I'm, I'm 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 trying to get closer. And you know I'm drinking water. You feel me? <laughs> I got my stand. Do it. That'll do it. That'll do it. I, I see you've been on your workout tip, you know, and it's, it's not just your mind, your your body and your soul. You getting all that together at the same time. I'm trying. Yeah, I always had big shoulders though. <laughs> they came factory. My shoulders were factory set. Uh, and I've been trying to make everything equal up to my shoulder at least. I what owe myself percent? that to proportionate proportionate myself. Uh -huh. So I've been drinking my my water and I got a Stanley and, and I got one of these cups that make me feel a little bit more better than everybody. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? I feel like I'm better than you, Jack. You when are, I drink out this Stanley Cup, you 100 percent, 100 percent. Yeah, definitely feel that way. Word, word. But word. only when I when I put it down, we good. Mm. That's all, my boy. When I put up, pick up the Stanley, I look at you some type of way. Show sure up, show sure up. I judge you a little bit. It, it give you an extra sense of uh, yeah. Security. Get you one. Get you one. Is is this your brand? Nah. Okay, got you. I, I, I gotta get one. Yeah, man, get you one. It just make you feel uppity. Hey, bro, get, tell me where, where, I, where can I purchase this from? I don't, I'm not sure. I, this was a gift to, my, to me, and I just knew the person that gave it to me how I, I envious I was of them because they had that cup. Got you. So Ooh. I know that that it does something to you to have one and make you feel it because I'm I'm hating on you because it keep your water cold for yeah. like hours and hours and hours a day, mm -hmm. like half the day. Got you. Water still cold. And you you saying that this is old water in your cup? Yeah, this is used water. Got gotcha. you. Understood. Pre-used. Understood. Understood. Pre water. Let's get it, man. Oh, Jack Thriller, Beauty of the Week. Money Bag Mafia. Let's go. Let's do this. Hey, beautiful. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? You good. You look good. Thank you. Mm. Turn around one time for the folks. Get a spin around and see your outfit. Okay. Oh, got my little poop shooter back <laughs> there. <laughs> I see you now. What's your name? Zuri. Zuri? Ooh. Oh, that is African. That's African. It's Swahili for beautiful. Swahili mm. for doggy style. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> dashiki. We got Dashiki in this bottle. <laughs> <laughs> what you do for a living, baby? Um, I'm an influencer and a student. An influencer? Where you go to school at? Uh, Gwinnett Tech. Go ahead and tell you, y'all. Oh, okay, with Amigo. I'm 25. 25? Y'all clap it up for these yeah, women doing their yeah, thing, man. Y'all ain't waiting on no handout. <laughs> Don't be a fool. Stay school, in man. school. Let me know. We're going to ask you a couple of questions. Three questions. It might be, you know, all sexual. You know what I mean? Never know. Well, some of them might she be got this. Some of them might be sexual. She okay. got this. 25 there. years old. How many relationships you done been in? Like three. Okay, so you got 12 bodies. <laughs> Let's go. <clears throat> First question. <laughs> <laughs> if you could choose one sex position for the rest of your life, what would it be? Doggy style. Doggy mm. style from the back. From the back. I'm going to choose a 68. Okay. 68. Yeah, that means you do me and I owe you one. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. That's, that's okay. crazy. As long as I owe you, you'll never go That's forward. crazy. Yeah, yeah. Second question. What type of foreplay do you enjoy? Role play. Yeah. Mm, I like massages. That's good. I like mm. massages. You don't like the role play? You have no, I like that play? too. Have you ever did it though? Yeah. You did. What was y'all situation like? What was the? What yeah. Um, 
pizza delivery guy. Pizza delivery guy was it? Anybody want some sausage? No. <laughs> how, how how it went down? Tell us. Tell the camera. Let us. Um, know. he just wore like a shirt and pretended he was a pizza delivery guy, and he was like, "Oh, I'm gonna come in." I was like, "Okay," and then we just. Man, yeah. that shit sound boring as fuck. So, I mean, you want me to give you the play yeah, by play? Yeah, see, if it was me, I, I want to hear it. If it was me, we would have did like an Abercrombie and Finch store where I need to use the dressing room. You like, yeah, mm -hmm. the dressing room's back here. <laughs> into the dressing room. You know how y'all go in? And they they go in and check to see if anybody in there. When you go in, you bend over the pussy out. You ain't got no drawers on. At Abercrombie and Finch. You hit a you hit a door closed behind you. <laughs> you like, uh uh, what's that? I'm like, it's this dick. Mm -hmm. oh! That's too much. <laughs> Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Why Abercrombie? I don't know. It was just, you know, I like the Mexican stores. Okay. Like that white That's Hollister. Like American Eagle, too. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> that nigga, that, that, anything start with an A, that's what they did. I love it. Amigos. Okay. <laughs> Tell your date, I'm your date today. Mm -hmm. Tell your date the funniest joke you know. Um, I don't know. Do a knock knock joke. Knock knock. Who's there? Bell. Bell who? You should have rang the door. <laughs> <laughs> that was, come on, that was clever. That was good. Yeah! It was clever. You can give me that. Oh, so shit. God came back and was like, to get into heaven, you got to make me laugh. Would you tell that joke? Yeah, he would laugh. Okay, straight to hell we go. <laughs> tell, hey, what? tell these people where to no. follow you at. You did a great job. Okay. Tell them where to follow you at, where they can find okay, you. Okay, my Instagram is ABL333SSING. Like a blessing, but with 333 instead of an E. Thank you for coming through, baby. Oh, I like that. Hell yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you, you you born and raised in Atlanta? Well, technically, I was born in Mississippi, and then I moved here when I was five. What part of Mississippi? Uh, I was born in Oxford, Mississippi. That's the high school. Well, well uh, Carlos is. Yeah, but I was just born there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Then I moved, but I lived in um, around Batesville and stuff like that. But where the soldier boy from? I don't know these things. So, oh, uh, so you, okay. this is this is what? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. No, well, this is how I identify these spots. Oh, uh, okay, cool, cool, yeah. cool, well, cool, cool. Because yeah. I, ne I never heard a now one of them before I knew these niggas. Right, me yeah. neither. I like I didn't know. I heard uh, Carlos was from that part of town. I was just born there, so when I was born, I got out of there. And you I never went stay. back there. Sound? Like. I never went back there. You ain't looking back. You don't give a fuck about it. You ain't going to go see no friends or the re no Oxford reunions. Well, nah, nah, no, not no Oxfords, not no Oxford. I do got a family reunion coming up. You know mm. what I'm saying? And Do you show up to those? June. I'm going. I'm going. Okay. I'm going. Um, now, what, how you preparing yourself for this family reunion? Because, you know, you you one of them niggas now. How many, how many family reunions have you been to as Philip Hudson, the star? About probably one. One. Can you? Maybe two. Through? Like, like to be honest, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it took a, like, I, I, let me take that back because... Star is like, I don't I don't know because I was still in when I was you see me on YouTube and all that doing shows and all that all that and people know know me I don't know if I was star I just think people knew me but I was always in mm. random places random mm. cities at, at random parties like what they look at me double say what are you doing here I was like what are you doing here you feel what I'm saying I just asked them the same question they asked me because we in the same place right right you feel right. what I'm saying and it's like well, <laughs> I'm trying to get on the old <laughs> you feel <one. laughs> That was that's what I, I was saying, but I wasn't ready. Yeah, that was I, that was what I was saying back then. I was saying mm -hmm. that, and then it was, but you don't people, be doing it was that family reunions though, right? Like, nah, I'm trying to get on these hoes. What's nah, up? I don't try to get on hoes. Hey, come reunion. on, now, everyone else got some fine ass cousins, bro. I'm, nigga, I'm with you right now. See, no, that's, that's not we on. That's not. Okay. See, I ain't have my we Stanley in my hand. I ain't have my Stanley in my hand, and I judge you. Got you without the Stanley. Got you. I ain't need the Stanley to do it that time. Got you. You on something? You on something else? This okay? You, so you've been keeping it real this whole interview. 
So you ain't trying to tell me you ain't go to family reunion and say, nigga, I'm trying to get on these hoes. Nah, but what I will do, I'm gonna keep it a thou wow and I don't wanna okay. offend nobody watching this. And, right. You know what I'm saying? You know what? I'm gonna just be myself. But if I did have a fine cousin, I'd try to put my fine cousin on somebody. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? I got you. I knew. Gotcha. And they'll be all right. What's up? Somebody like who? Do you know who I am? You don't want to be related to me, huh? Nah, it's, it, I'm just fortunate not to be. And, it's, and, I, and I had to, it's not my choice. So I just, nah, you probably a cool person to be related to. I'm going to tell that back. Like, I don't know if I would. I'm indifferent about it. Gotcha. You feel me? Gotcha. In different means. I don't have to. What I learned about family is your yeah. family is the people that you have to do stuff for. I know, all circumstances. I don't care. It's your family. Mm. These are the people that you, like, these are your people. Mm. They're literally your people. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? If you give up on them, you'll give up on anybody. That, that's right. That's you right. give up on anybody, you're going to give up on anybody. Mm. Ain't nobody's mm. safe. Mm. You give up on your family. Real mm. talk. And, and I, you know my family. So it is like... I don't ever have to go through that thing whether I want to do something with you or not. I don't have to. That's right. You that's feel right. what I'm that's saying? Got you. So if, you're, if, you're, if they ask you to hook them up with somebody, yeah. you wouldn't do... I, I, <laughs> that, I, I, we're on the same page now. Yeah. Got it. Got it. I just don't have to do it. All right. So you, are you trying to say that people have, like, in your family told you, hey, can you hook me up with Jack? And then you were just like, you know what, fuck no. You, Jack too good for you. Nah, I don't think... I don't think I ever got asked that question in my life, dog. No. Maybe when I was in Oxford for, for them five years. Because they know better. Right. Right. Okay. Nah, it probably, it probably never happened. But then, go. so I moved from Oxford. Okay. And I was staying in, baby, let's get back to the Mississippi. And then I came to Atlanta when I was five. I came to actually Clayton County. Clayton County. Clayco. Clay, Clayco. Got it. You know what I'm saying? What are they doing in Clayco? <laughs> you feel me? Dude. And then I went there. and I, So I'm actually not from Atlanta. According to especially according to Amarada, that is not a land. Mm, I was you, born in Clay you County. Buy that? Yeah, I mean I respect it because I, I like to be technical. I like to be like, no, oh, you one of them. Okay. And I, but I, you know what, I can't stand though. Like, Look, put me on, bro. That people when you t I tell them where I'm from, and then I'm from Clay County. That man, that ain't Atlanta. I'm like, I don't care. I really don't care. Oh, you're not offended by it. All right, I don't know, sir. That okay. people get mad because they from, but in the cities they be the part they be from be poor. Like you, man, I'm not from a poor city. <laughs> You want me to be mad? Man, that ain't Atlanta, I, gratefully. Hey, hey, bro, you, you just said <laughs> something right there. You just said some like, shit, because I'm from Decatur. And uh, when motherfuckers be saying, nigga, no, it's such and such, it, this Atlanta, right? It's always some wackadocious part that yeah, you don't Yeah, you ain't from Oklahoma anyway. City. You ain't from Canada. Yeah, like, yeah, don't say the part for you going to give a nigga it's ass. It's impoverished over there, yeah. bro. Around the yeah. time you was coming up, I remember I came up on the... On, on on the decent side of town, and yeah. I'm, I'm all right with that, but they did put a damper on my rap career, being from a decent part of town, because I ain't got nothing to rap about, for real, because I ain't from the mud. Because it got you. I ain't get it out the mud. I got it out the pastures. Yeah. I was on the, in the pastures somewhere trying to get out. Yeah, yeah. You, you got it out of the, the artificial grass. Yeah, I got it out of the turf. Got you the turf. <laughs> <laughs> Straight out the fucking yeah. turf, man. That's why I'm the type of person to carry around and stand. So you come from a really great background, man. Uh, uh, great morals and values of uh, father and mother, definitely in the house and everything. Yeah. Okay, got you, got you, one hundred percent. So, what, what was it like growing up with all your your brothers and sisters, man? It's from a faith based family. Oh, well, I don't have any sisters. My dad had eight boys. Basically. Eight boys. Yeah, eight boys. And he had, uh, and then, and all then, brothers. but I only grew up with. Five of those boys. That's a lot. My of mama had five, six. My mama had six of those boys. Okay, you feel me? She had the heap of them, the boat, and she had all six of us. Mm -hmm. and it was cool. We were cool. You know what I mean? Just y'all pretty tight. Everybody tight. We t we was, uh, yeah, we tight, but it's not the traditional tight. Mm -hmm. Like we don't call and check up on each other every day. And all but that. you, that's because you see each other on Instagram, right? Yeah, I guess you know each other good. Yeah, everybody know each other good, man. We got, we got, we all think the same kind of. You feel what I'm saying? I, I understand exactly what you just said. Mm hmm Word, word, word. Yeah, and it it was cool, man. We it was musty in the house. You feel me? Uh, 
we were breaking everything, you know, the usual. Yeah. My mom, we had bunk bags, but we ended up, all the mattresses ended up on the floor. All of on, on the floor. floor. You know how Why we break the beds, man? Because we think we, we, we think we can do stuff, but we can't. Was it a WrestleMania inside? Yeah, it was a whole bunch of stuff. It was just the fact Royal that Rumbles. if you give us, it's like you give us a bunk bag, mm. stuff you can swing from this stuff, jump off of this stuff. That's right. Like what they would expect us to do, sleep on it. Right. We're going right. to do all of that stuff. Mm. Mm. Like all of it. Yeah, uh, me mm-hmm. and my brother, we took the bunk beds down and made them goddamn twin beds in the house and, you know, all kind of stupid shit. Mm-hmm. But then we found out how smaller it made our room. Mm-hmm. And when I then tried to put the bunk bed back on top, and then they, they How did y'all do it? How did y'all unfasten it? Y'all saw it? It, it, was a, it? it was a peg in it and whatnot, so you just had to line the peg. Oh. But we done broke the fucking pegs, and I was on the bottom of that motherfucker one night, and my brother got up there, and that shit fell on top of me. And, and fucked me up real bad. I couldn't go to school for like three weeks. Yeah, and that, and that just that totally stopped your hair from growing. Yeah, yeah. That's the origin. <laughs> His bunk bed accident. Yes, bed I accident. knew it. I knew that it had to be a reason. Yeah, because everybody just don't go bald. No, sometimes it's decisions that we make. Then, then, then you know, creatine. Mm, creatine mm. had set me back too. Mm, yeah, mm. uh, I don't know what that is. Huh? I don't know what that is. Oh, pre workout. You you work out. You you don't take pre workout. All, all I do is do push ups and pull ups. That's all I do. Oh, wow. So you don't need no performance enhancement stuff? Not for push ups and pull ups, nah. Oh, you just, you, you honey packing. That, that's the only ones you use. I tried it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 and how did it go? It hit or, it's, it's a hit or miss. It was a hit or miss. Sometime at work, some of that. I time think it's a placebo. I think. The honey pack? Yeah, I think, you think it's you, all in your mind, the honey pack? Yeah, I think I think it's a placebo. I think you can um first of all Honey pack real, bro. Fiction can be fun. <laughs> hey look, man. Don't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't here. here to prove it. I'm a, I'm just telling you what happened. To I'm you. telling you what happened. I did use You're it. Before, young. And it, it is not like I ain't endorsing it like that. I ain't here to talk about no freaky dicky stuff. Yeah, yeah. 100%. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to talk about no freaky dicky stuff. I'm just tell you okay. what, what just my life. This is you know, you, just my life. <laughs> I already know what you about to do. What? You about to tell us that time you had that six of them. I didn't do that, though. Oh, it okay. happened. I never had that. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. That. It's okay. Yeah. I just want the best. I just don't want you to pray in rumors. No, no. You I, I'm I, just, I just want the best. I don't want no rumors. I, well, I imagine you like doing like a lot. Don't of imagine that, dog. I, no, no. What do you? No, what I, you? I, I blurred your face out. Nah, I mean, you only you couldn't see my face because I know you got that eyes. Is that a touch, touchy subject? No, not at all. I touch it. Yeah, that's a touchy subject. I know you got. You probably can't see all your dreams and and, and with your imaginings, because I, I I go off my memories inside my dream. You do? Yeah, I go. I, I, yeah, I, I remember things, but only half of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it could get a it could, it could get a little sketchy from here. And, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it can get a little little, little little hairy. But yeah, man. I ain't, yeah, man. I understand. You got your plight going on with your eye, mm-hmm. but. Yeah, I. What was we talking about? Yeah, you, you were saying we were talking about the honey pack, and then nah, you was, I told you don't we, be a, I don't. How do we even got to the honey pack? First of all, oh, we was talking oh, about yeah, performance enhancement, performance enhancement situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nah, I just do calisthenics. Gotcha. One hundred percent. Dig, dig, dig. I just do calisthenics. Is everybody funny in your family? Uh, I mean, pretty much. I feel like we had all our own group of friends. I think we'll be the humorous one. I think, but I think, I think my friends are funnier than me though. For sure, we always think that because that's pretty much where you draw from. Uh, when you when you were developing and who you were. Oh yeah, I got some. I got some. My friends influenced me. You know what I'm saying? A little bit. Um, people just tell me I'm a funny, funny person. One hundred percent. But when I try to be funny, it's not funny. <laughs> you were. It's not funny at all. You get dark. Nah, it's not even that. It's just it don't it go over people's head, and it's like okay, that wasn't You're smarter funny. than all these. Or or you didn't deliver it that way. Gotcha. When I'm trying to be funny, I always stutter. Gotcha. You feel what I'm saying? I understand. I was that person that, that, that they was roasting me and I tried to roast back and I stutter. Mm. And then I lose. Word, off word. of that. Yeah. Does, does that mean you like you kind of giving up when you when you start stuttering it? Nah, I really want to deliver that joke. I really uh, wanted to. Motherfucker. That type of shit. Yeah, yeah, that type of stuff. So, But I'm also that also that kind of that unroastable friend. You ever had an unroastable friend? Yeah, I got a nigga that you can't say nothing about. Uh, nigga, that's why you get all the pussy. Hey, and you dress too nice. Yeah, man. If you that's why you and you man, fight good. You smell good. What, what is that? What you got on? 
That's why you got on Balenciaga. Those are the ones I wanted. That's why you eat three times a day, nigga. Mm. Now you get three square meals. That, that's why you gonna be successful when you I grow see. up. I see. That's why you got a money wire in your pocket. I know that money. That's why everybody in your family going to heaven. Yeah. That's it. Okay. I, I get it. I get it. And that's why who cut your hair? They did a good job. Yeah. <laughs> Understood. You can't even hate. Yeah. Good job. Understood. Understood. Yeah. I was, I was that type of person. That they'll be roasting everybody and they stop and blame. <laughs> See. But I'm on you though. You know what I'm saying? I was like, why y'all wanna roast me? <laughs> roast me. They skip me. The word. Uh, Would you say you got thick skin? Nah, I mean I'm I'm pretty sensitive. I'm pretty sensitive. Or, nah, but it is some stuff I absolutely don't care about. Like you can't like you can't pay me to care about. I would just don't care. What you don't but the care. things I do care about, I'm very sensitive about. Okay. And ain't a lot, but you feel me? What 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 you don't care about? I don't care about um I don't know. I don't really care about money that much. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Money cool and I be wanting it when I ain't got it. Mm. But I don't be really caring about it that much. Maybe I got poor money management, money management skills or something like that. But I just see that they get money to anybody. You feel what I'm saying? They get money to anybody these days. Is it a deeper thing? Like you don't like it, what money does to people? Nah, I just know that, you know what I'm saying? That's why I say the power of family is very important because when you have the resources you got, you got people to help you. You got your family to help you, the less money that you need. You feel them say so everybody bounce off each other. You mm. saying you feed your family. But I don't really care about money that much. Money, money cool though. I know I need some. I need mm. some right now. Oh, and wow. I thought this was paid. But you feel them say, but I ain't tripping because I don't really care about it that much. I, 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 I lucked out. Hey, like I said, when they told me that you was gonna do it, I was like, what? Right. For free? Right. Get the fuck out of here. I kept uh, Bucks. if I could recall, I kept Bucks. trying to reschedule the time. Yeah. Oh, you was gonna do me like that? Yeah, I was trying. Oh. Nah, I was just playing. I ain't trying to do that. Oh. I ain't trying to do that. Nah, money cool, money cool. I don't really care about it as much as I, I know I don't care about it as much okay. as other people. Sometimes I forget to go get it. Oh, wow. But I be needing it. Do you? But I be like, hey, I, I do need money. Do you want to be rich? I want to be. Is it on your things to do? You, do you, nah, it's not. It's never because I never know what that number is. Mm. I just want to be surrounded by some people who, you know what I'm saying? who love me and we love each other. You feel mm. what I'm saying? That's just all I really want. I just want to be surrounded by that. I want to be able to contribute when it's time to contribute, mm. for sure. And I learned that when you're saving money, sometimes it's not about saving it for your rainy day, but somebody may need that. So you never get too close to it. You got to be able to, like, you know what? Here. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's not, it's not, whatever, you, you got to be able to, put it back in the universe. That's you know right. Saying? Come back to That's you, right. you feel what I'm saying? But money cool though. Uh, I already too much care about money. Uh, Do you remember when, when, when you first told your mama, hey, I'm going to be a comedian? Never said that. Didn't know I was going to be one. Oh, why? I knew you was fixing to say that. I ain't never said no crazy stuff like that. Okay. I ain't never said that. You feel what I'm saying? Paying too tight, trying to put it back in my pocket. We weren't going to do it. I was going to be fidgeting too much. But um, no, nah, I ain't never said that because I ain't never know that's what I wanted to be. And I didn't really think I was until I still kind of slick don't think I am. It's just people would just be laughing at me. So what do you what do you think you are? Cause it's a, cause it's a, it's a, uh, mm -hmm. a quote that says, you know, I think therefore I am. I just think I am. It, it can't be defined. I am. I'm. I, I'm. I'm here. I'm like. I don't really. I don't really define it by anything, man. I know that if I had to put it on paper for taxes and things like that. I have to put like entertainment, comedic. I have to put certain slots because that's generally what happens. I get laugh emojis all the time. And then really the algorithm, if you get a lot of laughing emojis, the algorithm sends funny stuff your way. Gotcha. You feel me? So that's when funny stuff come my way because there's a bunch of laughing emojis. Sometimes when I be trying to be serious. And then when I'm serious, they still send, they st send me laughing emojis. Mm. So that makes me a funny guy. Mm. Mm -hmm. what, what do you pray for? I need to pray more, um, but I pray that everybody is, I pray that everybody gets the understanding that they need. That's what I pray for, that they, whatever somebody going through, they find the understanding that they're looking for. Mm -hmm. You never know what they look like, but you looking for it. You feel me? I just pray for that. Anybody that's going through something and it's not like they can't figure it out, that they're going to get the understanding.
that they des- that they deserve and what's coming to them for sure. Okay. I already pray for anything to for myself. You feel me? I need to do that more. You know what I mean? I I pray for patience. You know what I mean? I pray for that. When I do pray, I pray for um that's pretty the patience and um and and to be able to give people grace. You know what I mean? I, I find that giving grace is very important. No, you, so you it's like it's I feel like it's more important to do that because you understand that people sometimes even don't know what they're doing, even if they think they know. You mm. you don't know what you're doing, you don't know what you're inflicting, you don't you have no clue what you're doing. Even if you're trying to do it, you still don't know what this is gonna happen. Mm. Or you're they're they're confused, or you know, or it was an accident. Mm. So it's like it's a lot of ways to give grace now. And sometimes I do act impulsively out of my emotions. But when I do realize I did some of my emotions, that's when you, you know, tell yourself you were wrong and you apologize. You feel what I'm saying? But grace is very important because you're gonna need it. Mm. Grace is important because you're gonna need it. Mm. You know, for some one day you're gonna need some grace. Mm. You already got God's grace, but from a person you're gonna need them to be like, it's all good. Mm. So I, I want to be the first to give it. You feel what I'm saying? And uh, that's important. So I pray for the strength to do that, and um, just pray for my family. You feel me? That's stuff I pray for. Got you. And so, do you, did you? Would you say, with that being said, uh, you, you you was pretty hard on people in the past, and not uh, you would cut just cutting them off like, right off the rip. I've never been like I've never been that type of person. I just know how to explain what I was doing, mm. like, who I was. Now I under, now I've grown to understand through communicating with enough people. Oh, this is the type of person I am. Now I can explain that I've always I've always been a person that didn't hold grudges. You know what I'm saying? I've always been that easygoing type of person, mm. but that's just who I was. And if you ask me, I'm like, I don't know. But now I'm an adult. I say, okay, this is why I, I think the way I do. This is okay. I get it. Now I understand. You feel me? I feel like I had an identity before I came and everybody seen me. And then I'm understanding who I who I was growing up. Mm. I'm understanding it now. And I'm, I'm able to tell people. So what are you afraid of? Deepest fear? Uh, I'm afraid of... What kind of show is this, man? <laughs> Finny, what kind of show this is, man? Pay your fucking people, be a bitch. Well, well I, <laughs> she just called me. No. She just called that was me. for me. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, that went over here to you. All right, cool. But uh, nah, my deepest darkest fear. Um, I think it would be. Uh, I think I don't even think it's mine. I think my deepest darkest fear is the fear of being alone. I don't think that's just mine because because I don't really think people know how it really feels to just be there's nobody else. Anybody that's getting on your nerves, mm. what if they wasn't there and it was just you by yourself mm. and just floating around by yourself, nobody else. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? And it's like it don't matter what you are, you, it's by yourself. You feel mm. what I'm saying? So, but when I say being alone is just like not having the access to get a second chance with something, like with a second chance with something. You feel what I'm saying? Not being able to, you know, like to experience love. Mm. Like, like, well, like experience love. That's the, the thing. Cause sometimes, like, when you live in grace, is that the fear of not having that grace anymore. I think that is. I know you got God's grace, but it will be a time that it would, he won't. Is it won't be an option for it, so that's probably my fear the the fear of not having grace, being in God's grace, or being in the grace that He created to give each other. And nobody like nobody wants to give me grace, mm. or being in a position where I'm here but I, you can't see me. Mm. You feel me? Mm. Like that. You know, I don't know if it, uh, you you feel what I'm saying. It's no, just, I totally feel it. Because I, if I, God stopped giving you grace, that's right. You feel what I'm saying? Imagine He stopped giving you grace, and then everybody else around you stopped giving you grace or stop. You feel me saying you become invisible. You feel what I'm saying like alone. You know what I mean. I don't want to be alone because I always want to count on the people who are around me. You mm. know, so I think we need each other That's and right. not being happy to have each other based off something that that I've done is 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 pretty deep. Mm. You feel me? So I'm I'm afraid of doing that. You feel what I'm saying? That's the my biggest thing because I feel like we need each other no matter what it is. You can get trapped in the elevator with somebody. However long you're in that elevator, you need you probably need that person. You never know. You probably gonna need that person. You probably you need them for right there, right then and there. If I'm panicking, you you can be like, bro, you gotta calm down. I need you to chill. Mm. 
I need you to chill. But it was like, you get to know the people that you're around. You have to adapt to them. So, yeah, I think my biggest fear is being out of God's grace. Mm, mm. Mm -hmm. You have 24 hours to live. What mm -hmm. does that day go like? I Like, I got, that's all I got. That's all you got. 24 hours left. What do you do? Are you up the whole time? Walk me through it. Hopefully I start off smiling. Like, I end up smiling a lot. You feel what I'm saying? Just smiling and just taking things easy. You feel what I'm saying? Um, 24 hours of live. That's a good question. Uh, um, I don't know. I just... What you, what you can't leave here without doing? 24 hours of live. Who do you need to see? What it, what who do you uh give your oh, stuff yeah, to? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. My daughter. Tell me some oh yeah, my daughter. But uh oh yeah, my daughter. Yeah. That's 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 like because I and it sounds like oh yeah, my daughter, because I still I'm still in the land of figuring out who am I have a daughter. I'm still in the land of, you know what I'm saying, putting two and two together in my head and stuff like that. And I feel like she's just a part of me. You know what I'm saying? She's just a part of me. So, but to single her out and just even ask me, who do I need to see? That's exactly what I need to see. I try to pour into her as much as possible. You feel me? I try to, I do, 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 tell, put her on game as much. Make sure I say enough to her, or make it, make sure I say enough to her. Put a position enough for her to see and really like. You feel? I got twenty. Like it's like your last words. So I got a whole day. She will get my last words. Mm. You feel me? She will get my last words. She will get everything that I, I said. Like I, I would tell my daughter, and I was like, I ain't telling nobody else this. You know what I'm saying? And then I tell her how to, you know, what I'm saying a, pers a perspective on how to think about that. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's gonna hurt or whatever, I talk to my daughter the whole day. I just talk to her all day. Hmm. Yeah, it, it, uh, even if it's not even that, I don't, I'm not a big recording person. Like, uh, like you I'm have the to same record way. this. I was, it's like, shoot, you had to be there, mm -hmm. and I want people to be able to believe you without seeing it. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, shoot, I was there, and the people who I was there with could tell you it happened. So I don't really record stuff. So I just talk to a kick it with her. Really try to do just her though. Mm -hmm. Just her, I'm just with her. You probably won't even. Everybody probably won't even hear from me. Probably call my phone. I'm just with her. I probably spend the whole day. I like it. I'll twenty four. I like it. How's been? How's being a father uh, changed your perspective on life? I just realized I was a father not too long ago. Uh, this morning, I was like, "Dang, I'm a dad." I I just caught it. She was nine. She nine too. Right, right. No, I get it. I get I'm it. Like, break, wow. Break that down. Break that down. Yeah, look if you y'all ever look at your kid and be like, "Wow, I'm a parent." Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like that. So that's what it's like. Yeah, I think that's just. You could put it in it's like, wow, I'm a I'm a I'm a whole parent out here. Yeah. And it's it's one of those things that I used when I before I had a child, I used to always look back like I got a child following me. Like just just preparing for it. Like and I still to do it do it to this day. I look back at them like they weren't there when I I really was doing it. I was walking through the mall and I look back like my my child is there. Like they're mm. walking behind me. Mm. And so to still to this day I do that when my child is walking behind me. Mm. But um yeah, it's just it's one of them things. Like, man, I'm a, I got a seed. I think children are important. And I got one, and she, um, I be trying to yell at her for doing things that I be doing. I be like, God, nah. That's so how I be feeling bad at the end of the day. Like, you talking to yourself. Yeah, mm. I was like, she, I'm like, why you be? I be like, you so lazy. Like, mm. Mm. You say that to your daughter. I say, clean your closet up, and I go look at my closet. Mm. Ew. Right, right. Does she challenge you? You, you, you clean yours though. Right. Nah, I keep telling her to clean. I would still, I'm gonna still tell her to clean hers. It's important. That is definitely it's important that you tell her. Don't worry about what I'm doing. Mind your business. Mm. Do what you do because I be telling my daughter you don't do nothing. Matter of fact, I do everything around here. So the least you can do is clean your closet. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. Don't worry about my closet. You don't do nothing. She don't want to eat because she don't want to wash her dishes. I was like, Parker, you ain't gonna eat? <laughs> no, nah, I don't want to wash the dish. Wow. You ain't gonna receive nourishment. Like, you need to eat. Nah, I don't want to wash the dish. I make her wash her dish. She don't want to eat. I was like, that is bold. No, is she? I don't think that's smart. I think that's very, very <laughs> foolish. That's a foolish thing to do. She was like, ah, I'm good. You hungry? Uh, are we eating out? No, I'm good. Ain't nobody trying to hear that bullshit.
Nah, I don't want to. I don't want to. When you when you were younger and whatnot, do you, do you do you remember things that your mother father used to say to you that you see through your kid? Like, okay, now nah, I get why they were right. I'm I'm wrong. we raising your child. Mm hmm. Yeah. Like keeping my room clean. Like I just go in her room. I'm like, how? Why? Why does it look like this in here? And they just living life. They stepping on stuff. Mm. They stepping on stuff to get to where they going. Like it's lava. A whole Trash. <laughs> Teddy bear. Blanket. Made it to the bed. What? Get the stuff up. Bro. It's like, like they stepping on a brand new separate thing. Mm. It ain't even just clothes. It's separate items. Mm. Why are you stepping on a 404 bottle? Why are you stepping on a cleaning product bottle? A 404? Yeah, you remember 404? Yeah, what, what's a 404 bottle doing in her room? Right. Because she, she had to, she spilled something and I make it clean it up. Oh, got you. Mm -hmm. okay. But it's like, why is your why is your room looking like this? And my and my dad used to say the same thing. Mm. Like, son, clean your room up. <laughs> I'm like, Dad, man, I got it, Dad. Like, it's like, but why? Why is it down here, though? They're like, what is you doing? And then you think about it. They ain't got no excuse to have it on there because they don't do nothing in the house. Right. But that really don't matter because you still got to clean up. Mm. No matter what you do, it's a blessing. You still got to clean up. Mm. No matter how old you get, no matter how much money you make, you got to clean up. Mm. You feel me? Unless you get a butler or a maid or something like that. Somebody got to clean up. Mm. Do you feel like your 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 kids your kid appreciate you? Yeah, with a question mark. Yeah, she do. <laughs> yeah, she do. She love me, man. Mm. She love me. Do she know how much you do for her? Yeah, she do. I think she do. She yeah, she do. I don't know. I mean, yeah, pretty much. I do a lot. If it, me and my baby mama stay in the same apartment complex. Get out of here. Mm -hmm. How awkward is that? Nah, well, it's not awkward at all. Nah, I, I did it on purpose so we can, uh, so it's easier for us to trade. The co-parent. The co-parent. So, mm. like, what what is that like for you when you see her walking in, you know, the apartment with another man? I don't care. You let her move on with her life and it's all good. Yeah, I mean, I really didn't let her move on with her life because I, I moved. To the, I didn't let her move on with her own life because I moved in the same apartment complex with her. But I don't care what she, I don't, she's a grown woman, she do what she want to do, it's just. But she's still yours, kind of, in your mind. No, it's just not, it's for my daughter. Okay. It's for my daughter, so she can't move on with her long life with my daughter. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, understood. Yeah, you can't gotcha. do that yet. Y'all stay out of each other business, though, kind of? Yeah, yeah, for sure. For okay. sure. We cool. it, it's totally, it's totally it's, one of them things that just makes sense. You feel it what I'm do. saying? It, 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 it's in just one of those. In a, and the thing about it, it makes sense. Like, shoot. Yeah. And it's time, because like, I keep my daughter for a week. You feel what I mean? We go week on, week off, week on. Do, 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 do. Mm. So that works good for that dynamic. She did a walk back and forth by herself to y'all. I'm trying to get her to be by, do it by herself, but she's scary. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But she's like, oh, can you? Where, where, what apartment y'all stay in? In an apartment. Got you. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I know what that's it. Yeah, it's cool. You thought I was going to tell you? No, no, I, I, I'm glad you did. I could tell you, though. I ain't tripping, but I ain't going to tell. Yeah, of course. You feel 100%. Me? It's crazy, but now it's, it, it, that's how I problem solve. I'm a problem solve. We do that, you know. what I'm saying we used to argue and stuff about. She feels people. safe with daddy. That's what it is. Yeah, she line. cool. Yeah, she yeah, cool. Yeah, it's completely fine and safe out there. But she always want to go to her mama's house. She's like, I want to go downstairs. Can I go downstairs? I'm like, yeah, you can, I guess. You don't never want to be up here with me. Mm -hmm. It's cool because I'll be like, yes. But she my dog though, mm -hmm. you know. what I'm saying I be getting jealous sometimes. I be getting jealous sometimes. I'm like, I can dig right. it. You know what I'm saying? All right, all right, all right. You doing good? All right, well, you got to stay here with me. All right. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I'll be like, all right. She'd be like, I'd be like, it's time to come upstairs. She'd be like, mm. I'm like, come on, man. She'd come upstairs. What's one of the biggest misconceptions about you? Um, I don't know. I don't know what. Don't what do you know. people usually think? And maybe it might be by way of what did they, your brother or something like that. And they, you know how people expecting y'all to be the same, but like y'all got your own lives. You know, you're like, no, you got me wrong. It's not like that. 
people think my brother are like, people think me and my brother do everything together. Like, they was like, I know y'all just, I know it was crazy. And like, nah, it was, we, we be chilling. Like, I, the last time I seen my brother, he living in Atlanta. The last time I seen him was, uh, Wow, got it. I want to see, maybe maybe it was last month. Maybe it was last month. Probably some, once or twice this month. Mm. Like, I couldn't tell you. Mm. I couldn't tell you, right? It wasn't too recent. Mm. But yeah, they think we do everything together. We don't. But uh, Mississippi, when I was doing Wild and Out, people used to come up to me and be like, bro, you're so serious. You're so um, uh, unapproachable, stuff like that. And I said, I'll be kidding. I'll be chilling though. That always threw me off, <laughs> you know, when people... Think that that make that mean you just serious because you um, to yourself and getting your thoughts together. Maybe you just not the dude that just want to be talking to everybody at lunches and all that other stuff. But that doesn't mean you unapproachable. I I, I don't think you unapproachable at all. Yeah, yeah. You now when I got my Stanley and when I got my cup, got you. Then I can see they be huh. like. So people think you bougie, but you not. Am I got my cup? For sure. Got you. Well, you are bougie with your cup. Oh, for sure. A 100%. Uh, I think it's about time for this interview when I got my cup. Oh, got, got you. Got I'm just you. playing. But when I put my, we good when I got my cup. When I got my cup, I got to go. A 100%. You I like. I, I know you got some more famous shit to do. Nah, but. nah. I wasn't saying that with no shade and then like that. No, no, so no, 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 no. I know cup. you was on the schedule. It, was, in the, it was about, the, it was a bit. It wasn't really. But coincidentally, yeah, coincidentally, oh, coincidentally, you know what I'm saying? One hundred percent. Yeah, you know I'm saying like I ain't, I ain't like that. Yeah, I ain't like that. No, of course not. Of course not. I did have a cup, man. Technically, influences like who? Who's some of your favorite comedians? Give me your your Mount, Mount Rushmore. Who you like? Because I feel like you can judge a good judge somebody, but not judge somebody, but pretty much get a good idea of what they're like off of who they who they uh, mm -hmm. think is dope. Uh, Jay Anderson. You know what I'm saying? He's he up coming up. He he. He a uh, friend of mine. He's doing his thing. I think he's really funny. I think he's just a really funny person. Like on the, on stage and he can act funny. Like he's my favorite comedian because he's the best actor. He's funny and he's a funny actor. Okay. Like I haven't seen like a, a somebody and he's just subtly he can really act. He can act. He's funny. You know his stand up is is funny. He's just a funny guy. He's a friend. Um, outside of him, Jay Anderson. Y'all looked that up. Um. Then uh, I was always been a fan of Mike Epps because he just be saying stuff. Yeah, yeah. He just say stuff. Yeah. And I think that's just funny, like in itself. Like he just say anything. Mm. He finna saying <laughs> he funny. Uh, shoot, 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 shoot. My brother Matthew, mm. and I'm just saying him because he funny, and he my brother. I want y'all to go to his shows. So Matthew, when he got a show, he's funny. So y'all go go to his show. It's a gospel. Gospel comedy. I'm excited about that. I mean, I'm yeah, yeah. He funny. Um, and he funny, man. He funny, man. Go Two follow more. him. Follow Two him. More. Uh, follow him on Instagram. Matthew Hudson. Follow him. Uh, two more. Uh, you you got to get me Matthew on the show too, man. Is that possible? He's still in Atlanta. I don't know. Y'all be cussing on this show. I, I could, I could, I could censor myself. Yeah, could be cussing. I don't know. He'll come on this show. Y'all cuss a lot. And ain't nothing. We'll, I don't we'll think. He, I just you. don't think. I don't think he would. You feel what I'm saying? It's just Brandon. Got gotcha. Brandon. Got gotcha. you. You feel me? That's just yeah. all that is. I yeah, think. I know how Brandon is. Yeah, that's Brandon, and yeah. just I don't think he'll do it. Okay. Not like that, but you know how it is. <laughs> I don't think. Of course. Bro, probably not do. He probably will though. Hmm. He probably will though. Yeah. You feel me? Okay. You probably will, cause you know Jesus went all different types of places. Mm, you feel me? He went all different types of places, and I don't want to misquote the situation, but mm. you feel me? But I feel like. Hey man, who the other two fucking? Com com I'm sorry, hey man. Who the other two comedians are? Hey man, I'm crazy, sorry, about that. I apologize. <laughs> That's not what I meant to say. Hey man, crazy. But um, who are the comedians? Uh, this should be easier. I was just thinking about some other people. Um, dang. Oh my God! Uh, I'm trying to think about people who don't hit the stage like that, or who I follow, who I follow, who I follow. I'm trying to blank, bro. Adam Sandler. He cool. He cool. Yeah, he cool. You know what I'm saying? Cool. Not my favorite. Man, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you the second too, cause I want to be correct. Chappelle. Quit trying to guess. Right. I want to be accurate. 
So I can't just give you actors. You said not who, who don't go on stage. I'm talking about somebody that I follow that is that's funny. Uh, oh, you putting okay. I got. I see what you're doing. I got. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. I got yeah. It. Drewski is hilarious. Drewski, Drewski is, hilarious. is so funny. Uh huh. Drewski is so funny. You know what I'm saying? He's a comedian. He's funny. Um, and uh, that man funny, bro. It's just Drewski's so funny, dog. It just is the way he talk. And yeah. just, he yeah. funny, dog. Yeah. He funny. Um. He got a lot of real cool subtle stuff that Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out. Yeah, that's it's the subtlety and it's yeah. just and, and also he can act funny too. Yeah, like yes. when he do his skits and stuff, they just be like he he acts but like I really appreciate people who can funny and they're funny. They can act funny. I like that. You feel me? And, mm. uh so You like was, that. I, so I, I see okay, I, I I'm I'm noticing the pattern now. Yeah, something like that. Uh shoot. Uh Lambo. I don't know if y'all follow him. Lambo. <laughs> He funny now. He, now he he like he low key with it, but he funny man. He just got a way. He just got a way of saying stuff. This a real person, y'all. Y'all fucking with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lantbo. Oh. He go by Lantbo on Instagram. L A N T B O. Okay. Yeah, he funny. Like he he. Why everybody start laughing just now? Because he's a funny guy. Oh, you know what okay. I'm saying? He a funny guy. That's why they laugh. All right. At him. <laughs> why you tell him, bro? <laughs> You see how I did that? <laughs> you say why they laugh? Hey, that's funny. My, my, <laughs> my, my brain just got real hot and warm just now. Yeah. They, I, <laughs> I ain't never heard that. I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> he over here, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But nah, for real though, he funny. Okay. That, that, that's it. That's the, my folks. Word, word. Okay. I got. I'm gonna get back to you with the last one though. The last one I really do think he funny, but I'm gonna come up with another one too, Drewski. Mm. Uh, yeah, one of the real funny dog. Mm, mm. Man, what's next for uh, uh, Philip Hudson, man? Man, we got we got to get some we got to get some money. You feel what I'm saying? Even though you don't even, care about it, I don't care about it. Right. But I know I gotta get some. So that's that's what's actually next. Yeah, I need to get that next. I'm, I'm on that I need to get thing. some some money. I need to get some money next. Yeah, you feel I me mean? to do something. Right. You feel what I'm saying for sure. That's just on my my schedule. Mm. You feel me? I'm not like, oh, I gotta get some money. But I get, technically, I do gotta get some money. Mm. You feel me? Gotta get some money. Mm. Nah, I gotta get some money. But uh, gotta get some money. Um, um, I got a few different ideas, you feel me, that I'm working on. Just finna be. A few people told me this, this random people just stopped me and said, hey, they was like, hold on, I gotta stop you. Something happened for, to you this year. I bet you been prophesied at all. I it's just random people just stopping me, mm. like three people this year. Just hold on before you go. I don't know these people, mm. so it's been pretty cool. So whatever they talking about, yep. Mm. <laughs> whatever they whatever they said, that's man, all the way. I ain't had not now prophecy this year, man. I'm a, I'm a little concerned. You know what I'm saying? Well, uh, well, pray for me then. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm Why saying? Not? Pray for me. You definitely Sometimes if you ain't got nothing, you got to pray for somebody else. Mm. You know what I mean? Maybe you start getting some stuff, Jack. That's what it. Is. That's what I got to do. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna even front. I gotta be honest with you. I've been praying for myself every day for the last, this past year, real hard. First thing in the morning, I, and I do need to, um, you know, extend it to you know others outside of my circle. Because mm-hmm. you know some prayers can be self. When somebody stop praying, yeah, and it's like a hit. They praying. There's yeah. a gap between their prayers. Mm-hmm. Somebody can fill that gap with a prayer, mm. and they keep them walking to their next prayer. Mm. If you mean, that's how prayers go. Okay. Somebody praying for you. You feel me? When you skip a day, somebody probably. Mm, mm. I love it. Mm-hmm. And then when you pray for somebody else, it's a plank they can walk on. Okay. Hey man, I got one last question. Mm-hmm. Um, best advice you ever got, and the worst advice you ever got, and who did you get it from? And then That's I'm going to let you pray us out. I need a Scantron for that, that last question. Let me, front and back Scantron. I got one more question. <laughs> He's dead serious, man. What's wrong with you, man? I don't even remember all those questions. Okay, let me do it. Again. I'm sorry. I tried to, you saw how I tried to bunch that. Yeah, thing. man. I said, best advice you ever got. Best advice I ever got. <laughs> and who did you get it from?
we are not the same. My brother actually said it in the rap. He said Your brother's Lil Wayne? Nah. Nah, not that brother. It may well Hudson. You go by Kosher, he's a rapper as well. He said, make it plays from dust to light. Trying to um no, he said. Dreams of getting richer keeps me up at night. Try, trying to make sure all my brothers up for life. Get it all in blood. I don't care much for hype. We are not the same. That's enough. That's enough advice. So he was just saying that uh, basically we are not the same. So it's like I can't tell you how to live your life. You know what I'm saying? I can't really give you too much advice because we're not the same. So what works for me may not work for you in the same cat in the same type of entity. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like it's one of those things that at the end of the day, there's something that makes me different from you. And I can't tell you what to do. All I can do is tell you who I am. And I know that we're different. I tell you how I got here, but we're not the same. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. You feel what I'm saying? Like letting somebody know that we we ain't the same. I always remember that. We're not the same. I got it. I got it. I like that. Yeah, so that's the first thing that came to my mind, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much. Worst advice you ever got? Worst advice you ever got that you have to lie to women. You have to lie. We was talking about that earlier today. Yeah. With women, yeah. Yeah, you have to, like, it It wasn't, like, it wasn't you have to lie to women. It's like somebody told me, man, you can't, like, they 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 think it's important. You got to lie. You feel what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to lie. And, it, and, it, and it's not even, it's not even um just centered around women. Just people just thinking that you have to lie. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's cool to lie. And it's like, you know what I'm saying? Not really. You can, you can do your thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You ain't you can't be, not on that. You, you just, don't be scared to tell yeah. the truth. Okay. You feel me? Don't be scared. To, you feel me? Yeah. Whoever was still there when you, after you said it, supposed yeah. to be there, whoever is, what's whatever meant for you is going to be meant for you. You feel me? You ain't got to lie. You know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much it. Man, I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. uh, yo, Philip, you mind praying us out of here? Nah, I can do that. Um, Father God, thank you for gathering and all, us, all of us here today. You know what I mean? I pray that this this interview and this sit down with Jack Thriller will go out there and reach who it's supposed to reach. I pray that um, that everybody gets what they're searching for and get the understanding that they need. It's coming. We will understand soon. And uh pray for safe travel to the crib. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hey, DJ Phoenix Star, take us on out of here, man. Philip Hudson, everybody. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Let's take some.